Hi Scorpio, welcome to October. This month I'm doing weekly readings. So look forward to videos every Monday. I'm using the Tattoo Tarot and let's get right into it. Happy birthday to any Scorpios that have their birthday in October, by the way. Go ahead and pull two more cards. Interesting. So, as your overall card, I got the moon. So the moon talks about not being fully informed about a situation. I feel like there's something that's going on that's a little bit out of your field of perception. And I feel like that's what's been shaping the way you've been thinking about the situation. And I feel like if you were to sort of maybe look at things from a different perspective or possibly sort of ask around, but I'm not getting the feeling that asking around is a good idea. I feel like if something is being kept from you right now, it's not because it's like information that, you know, it wasn't important so they didn't say it. It's more like a thing where it's like, oh, I don't want you to know because I don't want you to like be mad at me or whatever. Um, so definitely I feel like you should, it's, it's hard because you're in a weird position right now because if you confront them about it, I feel like you're going to get this sort of seven of swords energy. The seven of swords to me is always the lying, cheating, stealing card, but I feel like in this situation more than anything, it's talking about lying. I feel like someone's trying to shape how you're thinking right now. And if I know a thing or two about Scorpios, you probably aren't having it. Because <laughs> Scorpios are intelligent to a fault and really like to get to the bottom of what's going on. And I feel like that right now is what's sort of been motivating you, is that there's a possibility that you're trying to figure out what's going on. and maybe it could be sort of like a self-fulfilling prophecy where if you try to if you try to like find out what's going on it'll sort of lead to a more negative outcome than if you were to just allow the information to come to you because i do feel like the information is going to come to you with the fool card that came out as your very first card that to me symbolizes a new beginning. And that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Maybe if you're dealing with someone, it can mean that you're sort of walking away from that situation. But also, to me, a beginning intrinsically means that there has to be an ending. And I think what that supposed ending refers to is it refers to your sort of being in the dark. So you're gonna get that information and you're going to be able to go from there. Um, with the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups, I feel like you're sort of unfulfilled, maybe, in your relationships. I feel like you're sort of fantasizing about what you can sort of accomplish or what else, how things could be. And I feel like definitely you should consider sort of doing some manifestation work, setting your intentions. Um, usually from daydreams, I think that you can gleam something about yourself. You can usually understand from your daydreams like, oh, what am I working towards? What do I want out of life? And I feel like with this Seven of Swords, like you are maybe at a point right now where you are sort of not feeling a whole lot of passion. I feel like a lot of you might be working like a job that you really don't like 
or at least don't want to move forward with or maybe studying something that doesn't really interest you but it's like the practical thing to do like find what you're passionate about find what it is that you care and do it and I think the I think one, one of like the best pieces of knowledge that I've received is if you're good at something, don't do it for free. So I feel like a lot of you guys might have a lot of really good talents, a lot of um, things that you can do. I'm getting that a lot of you might actually be really good at this sort of artwork, at this sort of artwork, like this aesthetic. Maybe a lot of you could be like tattoo artists or like just artists in general uh, or graphic designers and you've sort of been told in the past like, Oh, well, that'll never work. I think that you need to evaluate it for yourself. Definitely. And if in the past you've like blindly taken their knowledge or what they've told you and said, you, you know, you're right. I should just do something else. Like now is the time to really sit down and think about it because what a lot of people never really talk about is that if you hate your job, you're not going to want to do it or at least you're not going to do it well. So if you like what you're doing and you're doing it well, with enough elbow grease, you can find a way to sustain it. And I think like a lot of you are more than willing to do that, especially for a passion, but it's sort of like you're at a point where it's difficult. So what I'm saying is sit down and evaluate it. Do some risk, ass risk assessment and see if that's something that would interest you. Because with this five of, uh, five of Cups, originally I thought it was just more of the same with the Moon card, but now I'm feeling like it could be you keeping yourself from being happy because you've sort of set yourself on a path where, um, where you're not happy. You've sort of decided, okay, this is the smart thing to do, so I'm gonna do it. This is sort of, it, it feels like you're in a head over heart situation right now. And it's definitely burden. It's definitely a burden on you with this ten of wands, because the weight of having to make a decision that's quote unquote practical over one that you're passionate about is difficult. And especially if you guys are sort of doing something that you don't even remotely like, and you're acting like someone else, and you're being something different, that takes a toll on you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So. That's what I'm trying to say is that you need to evaluate if the decision that you've made is hurting you. And if it's hurting you, then it's best to change it. I feel like maybe one person that watches this reading might also be in like an arranged marriage or has been engaged to someone that they've lost their feelings for. And I think that you know, you might be in like really difficult situations, but like at some point you need to prioritize number one and see how you feel about it. And I feel like now that we're in Libra season, it's a good time because Libra season talks about mitigating arguments. So especially if you have like a Scorpio Mercury, it could be a good time for you to like think about things a little bit more objectively um, instead of you know, seeing things as a win-lose situation. But, like, I feel like with this Knave of Cups, definitely if you're, like, engaged to someone, you might see them as immature, because I see the Knave of Cups and the Knave of Swords. Those are both, like, beginning energies. Uh, still not grown, still not mature. So, I feel like there's definitely something that someone hasn't told you. And it's putting you in a, dif in a difficult position. I would say, think about things. Mull them over. Think about what you want. And then if you start getting any new information, definitely think about that too. But I think that there's something here that's got you sort of like in a... Like sort of feeling down in the dumps. Um... I feel like a lot of you are feeling void of passion right now, but you know, you need to work towards this King of Wands 
because I know that it's inside you and I know that if you were to just make some minor adjustments, I feel like you would feel a lot more lighter in your burden of the Ten of Wands. Because the Ten of Wands talks about somebody who's carrying ten wands on their back, ten staves. Um, so you need to maybe consider putting one down and coming back for it later. Or maybe consider asking someone for help. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like asking someone for help might not even apply in your situation. But even if you're not asking someone for help, I guess, to follow the metaphor with your um, 10 planks of wood, then consider asking someone for help in an emotional way or like in a spiritual way or whatever. So like you're just talking to them and sometimes talking can just make you feel better. Expressing what you're feeling, what you're thinking, even if you don't have to give them all the details, could be very beneficial for you. And I, I would say maybe, especially if you had like some hobbies in the past that you've stopped doing, consider picking them up again. Um, maybe start some, reading some books, something, do something for your mental health. Uh, because I feel like if you start taking care of yourself in that way, you'll start to see your passion come back. And I feel like once you start to see your passion come back, you're going to be at a point where you can start leaving your impact again. So all in all, I think, I think it was a good reading. I think there's definitely some stuff here. You're definitely unsatisfied with your current situation right now. And I feel like there's something that someone isn't keeping that someone, something, someone isn't telling you, but you know, like people don't get to decide how you feel. Like if someone comes up to you and says, I'm going to fight with you so you can be angry or so that you have to be angry, you don't have to sort of do that to them. You know, and like, obviously, if you're feeling your emotions, your emotions are valid and express them the way that you feel them. But you also don't have to give people the satisfaction of doing what they want you to do if that's not something that you want you to do. So I feel like take back your power, take back your power, take back your passion in life and like find your inspiration, find your muse. All in all, I think this is a fantastic reading, and I seriously wish you guys the best of luck. I hope to see you guys next week, so we can talk about this a little bit more and see what like the developments are. But I think that you guys, I think that you guys will do just fine, and I wish you the best of luck.